What's happening, everybody? Justin, Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube, Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter. As you can probably tell from the sound of my voice, I'm still trying to get over this uh, cold, flu, impending death sickness that I have. And uh, But I knew you guys hadn't heard from me in about a week. And prior to the Sweet 16 game starting in the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament, I thought I should come on here, give you guys an update about how my brackets are doing, and also, as a special treat, something I did not do last year, I'm going to take you through the second chance bracket, quote-unquote, of the teams that are remaining, and tell you which way I'm going from now straight through to the championship game. So as you guys know from my other videos, I did two brackets this year. One I entitled FC the Fourth. That was in Ariel Hawani's public group on Yahoo. The second group, of course, was just titled Bridgewater's Finest, and that was in Billy B. Team Takeum's uh, public group on Yahoo, or sorry, private group on Yahoo. Uh, we'll start with the uh, FC the Fourth bracket. Uh, in the FC the Fourth bracket, right now I sit th with a record of 32 and 16. So 32 correct picks, 16 incorrect. As far as my Sweet 16 looks, I have 9 of the 16 teams remaining that are locked in, so I had 9 of the Sweet 16 teams correctly picked. Uh, my incorrect ones, I had uh, Midwest number 4 St. Louis, West number 1 Gonzaga, which is a huge disappointment that they lost, uh, West number 5 Wisconsin, West number 11 Belmont, I was getting a little disappointed in Belmont, I thought they had a shot to be a bracket buster there, uh, East number 6 Butler, East number 5 UNLV, and South number 2 Georgetown, which again, Georgetown fell victim to Florida Gulf Coast and in probably the biggest surprise of the tournament. Uh, as far as the Elite Eight goes, I have six of the Elite Eight teams correctly picked, uh, thus far anyways. Uh, the two teams that I had going through to the Elite Eight that are eliminated was West number 1 Gonzaga and West number 11 Belmont. As far as the Final Four goes, I have three of the Final Four teams still alive. The one that was eliminated there was West number 1 Gonzaga. Like I say, huge disappointment that Gonzaga lost. Uh, national Championship game, I have one of the two teams that's still remaining. The eliminated team, of course, was West number 1 Gonzaga. But my National Champion is still alive in that bracket. Now, as far as the rankings go, I'm ranked tied for 155th out of the... <coughs> Excuse me. Out of the 500 people that are in uh, Ariel's group, so it's not a terrible ranking. Uh, total points right now, based on how Yahoo does the point scoring, is 41 points. That has me sitting in the 63rd percentile on Yahoo, which is not bad, but my highest possible point total in that bracket is only 137, and that's by way of one of my national championship teams, uh, West Number One Gonzaga, being eliminated. Let's go over to the Bridgewater's Finest Bracket. In the Bridgewater's Finest Bracket, I have one fewer correct and one more incorrect than I did in FC the 4th, so I'm 31 and 17 in that bracket. However, Sweet 16 locked in teams, I picked 10 of the 16 correctly that made it into the Sweet 16, which was one better than FC the 4th. The eliminated teams that I had in this bracket going to the Sweet 16, uh, Midwest number 4 St. Louis, uh, West number 8 Pittsburgh, West number 4 Kansas State, East number 11 Bucknell, South number 2 Georgetown, and South number 5 VCU. As far as the Elite Eight goes, I have seven of eight teams remaining in the Elite Eight, uh, which is also one better than uh, FC the Fourth. Uh, the only one that was eliminated out of there was West number four, Kansas State. As far as the Final Four National Championship game and the National Champion, those are all still perfect. I have all four Final Four teams still remaining. I have both the National Championship game teams remaining, and my National Champion is, of course, still alive. As far as rankings go, I'm currently ranked second out of eight in this group. So there's only eight of us in, in, in uh, Billy's group, but I'm currently ranked second, with an equal point total of 41. So that's the same number of points that I have in FC the fourth. The big difference here, so like, it's still 41 points and it's still 63rd percentile in all of Yahoo. The biggest difference here is based on the fact that I still have all my Final Four teams, both of my National Championship game teams, as well as my National Champion, the highest possible point total that I have for the Bridgewater's Finest Bracket is 165. So that's almost 30 points better than I could possibly get on FC the 4th. So I still have a shot there to be really 
high level somewhere in the Yahoo game as long as everything goes sort of according to plan with, with the Bridgewater's Finest Bracket. Now, as promised earlier in the video, I'm going to take you through, and this is something I did not do last year. I didn't do a second chance bracket this uh, last year. I did do a second chance bracket this year. This is the way that I have my second chance bracket going. At this point, we can sort of throw rankings out the window because these are all teams that have won at least two games in this tournament. I've got Louisville beating Oregon. I have Duke beating Michigan State. I have Wichita State beating LaSalle. I have Ohio State beating Arizona. I have Miami of Florida beating Marquette. I have Indiana beating Syracuse. I have Florida beating Florida Gulf Coast. And I have Kansas beating Michigan. So that sets up the Elite Eight games of Duke v. Louisville, Ohio State v. Wichita State, Indiana v. Miami, Florida, and Kansas v. Florida. In those games, I have Duke beating Louisville, I have Ohio State beating Wichita State, I have Indiana beating Miami of Florida, and I have Florida defeating Kansas, which sets up in the Final Four Ohio State v. Duke and Florida v. Indiana. In those games, I have Duke beating Ohio State, and I have Indiana beating Florida, which sets up a national championship game of Indiana versus Duke. And in that game, I have Indiana beating Duke by a score of 65-61 to 61 to win the NCAA Men's Basketball National Championship. That's the way my second chance bracket is going. Get your second chance brackets done before tomorrow, the beginning of the Sweet 16. That's it for me, Justin, Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube, Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter. Wish me a speedy recovery with this crap, and I'll see you next time.